In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, solve a circuit like this using something called Kirchhoff's Laws. Now, I think circuit reduction is faster for this circuit, but Kirchhoff's Laws, uh, not all circuits can be reduced the way we're reducing them, and Kirchhoff's Law always works. It even works if you've got more than one voltage source. Okay, So, let me just show you how to do this. The first thing to do with, with uh, Kirchhoff's Laws is to draw in your um, current. So, I'm going to do these guys in red. Okay, and I'm going to call the current that goes this way I1, although no man is an I1. <laughs> okay, and I1 also comes back to the battery, that's the same current, right? I'm going to call this current here, for lack of a better name, I'm going to call that I2, and then this current here, I'm going to call I3. Okay, now. The first rule, the first of Kirchhoff's rules, is called the junction rule. If you pick a particular junction like this, the sum of the currents flowing in equals the sum of the currents flowing out. So for that junction right there, we get the formula I1 equals I2 plus I3. In other words, this is, and by the way, this is conservation of charge. I1 splits into two currents, and the currents it splits into add up to the current. So if this is 3 amps, and that could be 1 amp and 2 amp, right? Okay, now, if we look at this junction, we get that I2 plus I3 equals I1, and that's not a new formula. So this is our equation. That's not a new equation down there. So this is our equation that we get out of that. Okay, <clears throat> now, the second rule, and this is a little bit harder to, to figure out, okay, but the second rule is called the loop rule. And the loop rule states that if you traverse the circuit and do a complete loop of the circuit, like for example, if I go from here and I go up, over, down, over, and up, that the net change in voltage for that loop is zero. This is a bit like saying that if you run uh, uh, some cross country, you go on some run and you end up back in the same spot. That is, you start at your house and you end at your house. You might go uphill and downhill, but you'll always end up at the same location if you end up in the same spot. Okay? Now, the rule for this, the rule for going through these things is, um, if you look at these things, if you go through a battery from the negative side to the positive side, if you go that way, it's positive 22, and if you go the other way, it's negative 22. So this would be positive 22, that would be negative 22. Okay? So if you go from negative to positive through a battery, you go up 22 in volts, right? Okay? Then if you go downstream the way you've drawn a current, whatever way you've drawn it, if you go downstream through a resistor, you go down by IR. So this way, if you go this way, see I1 flows to the right, so if I go this way through it, it's minus I1, IR. And if I go this way, it's plus IR. Okay? So downstream through a resistor is down IR. Upstream through a resistor is plus IR. And you just go through, and I'll, I'll show you what we did here, okay? So for this guy, for this loop that I just made, I get the equation starting here, plus 22. Okay? And then I'm going downstream, and it's 5, and this current here is I1. So I go down. 5i1, and then we take this path here, okay, and I'm going to go down 11i2, right, and now I'm back here and I'm going down 9i1, I'm going through this guy, this is i1 over here, right, and now I'm back to where I started, so now that equals 0, okay. So let's just double check that, right? Up 22, down 5 times I1, because I'm using Ohm's law, right? V equals IR, right? So 5 times I1, down 11 times I2, down 9 times I1, and then I'm done, okay? Now I'm going to do another loop here. Let's do another loop. Let's use the, hopefully this green pen works, right? I'm going to go from here down the outside of this and back. And the only difference being that I'm going to visit this part of the circuit. And when you do these loop rules, obviously you have to visit all parts of the circuit. 
you have to get all the numbers into the system of equation, or obviously it can't get an answer. Okay, now, so for this guy, I'm going to go plus 22. Okay, down 5i1. And here's where it gets exciting. Now I go down, and if you look, it's this is I3, and it's 15 I3, right? Right? And then minus 9 I1 is 0. So let's just double check our path. Up 22, down 5 I1 for this guy, right? And then we're over here. This is 8 and 7 is 15, so down 15 I3 down 9i1 and then it's 0. Okay. Now we need to write the formulas in matrixable notation. In other words, we need to recast them uh, uh, so that we can put them in a matrix. So remember to, when you do this, you want all the coefficients of i1, i2, and i3 to be in, in a line. It helps you. right? So i1 plus i2 plus i3, I recast this way. i1 minus i2 minus i3 equals 0. So you always have to put the constants over on one side, i1, i2, i3. There we go. Right? Now let's mess around with these guys here. Um, first off, do you see that, the, that 9 and 5 i1 can be combined to 14 i1? Right? I can get rid of that, right? So that's 14i1, and the same thing here, right? 9i1 and 5i1 can be combined, and we've got 14i1. Okay. And then notice that I can also do this. I can say 22 equals this, right? And then just make all these guys positive, right? Because basically all of this said that if we had 22 and then all of these were negative that it added to 0 so I can say 22 equals all of these guys positive right because I ultimately I want these guys to be I want a 22 on this side right so now I'm going to recast this guy I'm going to put the 22 on this side right 14 I1 uh, let's see uh, 11 I2 plus 0i3 equals 22. Okay? That's that same equation that we had there, right? And then for this guy here, I can do the same thing. I'm going to go put the 22 over there. I've got 14i1, right? Plus, and then there aren't any i2s on that one, right? Plus 15i3. Whoops. It's definitely below average, right? Okay. So I've got, I've got, uh, I did this guy here, right? 22, 14, right? 14 I1, 11 I2, and no I3s, right? 14 I1, no I2s, 15 I3s, right? Okay. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to do this with your calculator, how to, how to solve that matrix with your calculator.